As we heard in a previous video, one of the main applications of differential equations is to model the real world, especially when we understand something about the rate of change. In this video, we'll look at one example of such a problem, where we have a statement about a real world phenomena and translate it into a differential equation and solve the resulting equation. So we encountered Newton's law of cooling when we talked about the uh, insulation problem. The law of cooling says that the rate of change of the temperature of an object is proportional to the difference between the temperature of the object and the temperature of the surroundings. So let's imagine we have a coffee cup. And it's poured with fresh coffee that's at a temperature of 190 degrees Fahrenheit. It's sitting in a room whose temperature is 70 degrees. We measure the temperature 10 minutes later, and the coffee is at 150 degrees. So the question we're going to answer is, when will the coffee be at 100 degrees Fahrenheit? So let T of T be the temperature of the coffee at time T, where T is measured in minutes. And we'll let T equal 0 be the time the coffee is first poured. So we are given then that uh, T of 0 equals 190 degrees. So this is an uh, initial condition, and we have the extra condition that we'll see is important to find another constant in our solution, that T of 10 equals 150 degrees. Now, the ambient temperature uh, is the term used for the temperature of the surroundings in such a problem. So that we'll call A, and it's given at 70 degrees in this problem. So Newton's law of cooling says the rate of change of temperature that is d, 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 t. So we, in other words, when we see the uh, phrase rate of change, as we do up here and down here, rate of change, remember, is the derivative. That's one of the interpretations of the derivative as rate of change. So when we see rate of change, we think of derivative. So the rate of change of temperature should tell us how fast temperature is changing. So that's telling us about d, 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 t. We're told it's proportional to the difference between the temperature of the coffee, which is T, and the ambient temperature, which is 70, and so proportional to T minus 70. So all this together suggests the differential equation, d d d t. So again, that's the derivative that is suggested by the uh, rate of change phrase. And let's say we say it's proportional to t minus 70, which is here. And of course, when you have two things in proportion, it means one is a constant multiple of the other. So we have this k here, which is the constant of proportionality. So every time you see proportional or proportionality, there's going to be a constant k involved. Often you won't know what that constant is, but with enough given conditions, you might be able to find it. And that will be the case in this problem. So the important point of this example is how we go from this written description of a physical situation and a little bit of knowledge or conjecture about how temperature changes, and from that write down a differential equation that governs our situation. We're now going to go ahead and solve this system and see if we can answer the question, at what time will the coffee be at 100 degrees Fahrenheit? So this is a separable equation. If I look over on the right-hand side here, I see things are written as a function of capital T, which is one of the variables. And of course, there's no little t here. I could just take the constant as our, quote, little t function, which is constant. But anyway, we can bring all the capital T terms to one side, all the dt, all the t terms to the other. So we can separate this. This gives us the two integrands in the problem. 1 over capital T minus 70, D capital T is equal to KDT. See here. And then we integrate both sides, so we put in the integral sign in this step also. Okay. So for the integration, uh, we're just going to jump to the answer here. Uh, not hard to check that the, anti that the logarithm of that so T minus 70 has derivative 1 over T minus 70. So log of t minus 70 in absolute value is the antiderivative of 1 over t minus 70. You can also do this integration with a substitution 
of u equals capital T minus 70. Very easy substitution. And with the substitution method, it's easy to get to this answer. Integrate the right-hand side. As is often the case in these things, the right-hand side is a constant. So the antiderivative of a constant k is kt, and then we throw in the constant integration on the right. So this is a situation in which we can isolate the capital T. We're going to do that by exponentiating both sides. And we'll then have, if we take uh, the exponentiation, just exponentiate both sides, so e to the log capital T minus 70 equals e to the kt plus c. And the exponential log being inverses gives us the absolute value of t minus 70 on the left. And we have the e to the kt plus c down here which we can write as e to the kt times e to the c. We saw that in a previous video. And then we call the e to the c, because it's a constant anyway, we just call it c1. So this exponentiation, of course, turns this additive constant here into a multiplicative constant. So we've bought for that last equation in the previous slide. Uh, the coffee starts off at greater than 70 degrees, and if it cools in that room, it'll never get below 70. So we know that t minus 70 is always going to be non-negative, and so we can remove the absolute values and come up with this expression. Add 70 to both sides after taking off the absolute value, and there is our expression for the temperature of the coffee. Of course, we don't know all about it yet because we don't know the C1, don't know the K, but with the conditions we have on what happens at certain times, we can find that. The t equals zero information. So when the coffee was poured, time t equals zero was 190 degrees. So t of zero is 190. And so if we put that into the equation up here, we have 190 is t of zero. And putting zero in on the right-hand side of the equation, this reduces to 70 plus c1. And so it's easy to solve for C1 out of this. C1 is 120. And now if we put that C1 back into our equation and update it, we now know that T of T is 70 plus 120 e to the kT. We have one other piece of information we haven't used yet, and that is the temperature of the coffee at time 10. So let's bring that into play. At time 10, the temperature was 150 degrees. So this tells us that T of 10 must be 150. And on the other hand, if I come up here and put in 10, I see T of 10 is also 70 plus E to the K times 10. So uh, we're going to subtract the 70 from both sides. That'll give us 50 on the, or 80, excuse me, on the left and then we'll divide by the 120. So that leaves us with e to the k times 10 is 80 over 120, or 2 thirds. You can check that arithmetic. And since we want to get at the k here in this equation, and it's up in an exponent, we take logarithms of both sides. So we have the log of 2 thirds, taking the log of the 2 thirds power, is the log of the exponential. Use that very important, very useful idea. Again, the log of the exponential inverses. So log of e to the k times 10 is just k times 10 or 10k. And now it's a very easy matter to solve for the k. We get log 2 thirds over 10, and a calculator gives minus 0 0.0406 as the approximate value for k. Again, having found this value, let's update our equation or our expression for t. So if we put in this value of k, we now see that t of t is given by 70 plus 120 e to the minus 0.0406t, and this is good for t greater than or equal to 0. At this point, we can answer the question raised in the problem, and that question is this. It was at what time is the coffee equal to 100 degrees Fahrenheit in temperature? 
So we want to know at what time t the copies at 100 degrees. In other words, we want to solve this equation 100 equals t of t. But t of t is also given up here. So we can solve 100 equals 70 plus 120e to the minus 0.0406t. Subtract the 70 from both sides, divide by 120, and we isolate the exponential. And now we're solving for t. Again, it's in an exponent, so logarithms to the rescue again. 30 over 120 is 1 fourth. So we have log of 1 fourth is the log of the exponential term. And again, the log exponential inverse property reduces that expression to minus 0 0.0406 times t. So the t comes from just doing the derivative, the uh, division there. And your calculator will show that works to, out to about 34.19 minutes. So that's about 32 and 1 fifth minutes. And so our conclusion is that the coffee will be at 100 degrees Fahrenheit after about 34 minutes and 12 seconds, because 12 seconds is about one-fifth of an hour. So uh, when you uh, look at problems like this, watch for this phrase, you know, something changes at a rate proportional to something, or the rate of change of something is given by some expression, and that'll tell you when, where the derivative is being talked about, and then try to convert that derivative information to an equation, a differential equation, and solve it. So practice a few of these out of section 7.2, and you'll be ready for them on the exam. Good night.